Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. And here we have a startling statistic, a worrying statistic at that, but startling certainly. There are nearly as many civil servants in Britain's Defence Department in the MOD as there are soldiers. And in fact, if you want to double the size of the old of the of the army, give every civil servant a rifle. It's unbelievable. There are more office staff alone than the whole of the Navy and the Air Force combined. Now, when two million Soviet soldiers co hove into view across the channel, ready to launch into Britain, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but if it did, we would last precisely seven minutes. Seriously, we no longer have armed forces worth calling armed forces. We've got basically a home guard. That's where we're at with this. Now, I've got a quote because I can't remember the numbers. Uh, the number of civilians working in the UK government's Ministry of Defence has increased 6% in this decade alone, it's only four years in, to 63,702. At the same time, the British Army has continued its long drawdown and it's predicted to dip below 70,000 next year. Now, an, an army with less than 70,000 men is not an army. It's a camp. It's not a lot at all, is it? It's a it's a small town. It's one small town, one large village, something like that. Um, the Royal Navy, remarkably for an island nation, we are, has just 28,840 sailors. We used to have the biggest navy in the world. And in fact, our navy at one point in history was not just the biggest navy in the world. It was bigger than the next two navies combined. Now look at us. Pathetic. The Royal Air Force stood at 28,420, meaning combined, those two forces number just 57,260. Thousands fewer than the number of civil servants. 20,000 fewer than the civil servants. 10,000 fewer. Can't count. 10,000 fewer than the civil servants. It's a joke. Who's defending our borders? Not us. Now, the only good thing is when Russia does invade, they've had to have gone through Poland, Germany, the Flatlands, and a bit of France to get to us. And hopefully they, particularly the Polish, will have slowed them down a little bit. Not enough to stop them, of course, but it'll give us, you know, a couple of days to learn Russian. We are not being saved by our uh, our government, are we? They're not doing anything for our armed forces. We need a bigger navy. We need carrier groups. We need a bigger air force. We need a huge army. Ho oh, hum, these problems are meant to uh, to test us, aren't they? Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.